In the war of words over Iran's nuclear program, President Obama is aiming some of his toughest at his GOP foes. A day after he met with Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu, he used a broadcast news conference to accuse Republican hopefuls of beating the drums of war. If some of these folks think that uh, it's time to launch a war, they should say so. As he spoke, America and its allies agreed to new talks with Iran, and Tehran accepted inspections of a key nuclear site. Obama agrees previous talks have gone nowhere, but says sanctions stage, can still prevent an Iranian nuclear bomb. We have a window of opportunity where this can still be resolved diplomatically. To GOP hopefuls addressing a pro-Israel group, this sounded like appeasement. Another delay, another opportunity for them to go forward while we talk. The red line is now, because the Iranians now are deepening their fortifications. Israel doesn't need public lectures about how to weigh decisions of war and peace. It needs our support. Those folks don't have a lot of responsibilities. They're not commander in chief. Obama added their demands for crippling sanctions and keeping military options open are what he's done for three years. The president's news conference was his first in four months and a none too subtle statement that even on Super Tuesday, the biggest primary day of the year, he will not let GOP charges go unanswered. That includes on gas prices. On the stump, Republicans say he's pleased they're soaring because he wants to wean Americans off of fossil fuels. Just from a political perspective, do you think the President of the United States going into re-election wants gas prices to go up higher? <laughs> is, that, is, 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 that, is there anybody here who thinks that's, that makes a lot of sense? Plus, Obama says loose talk over war with Iran is the biggest factor behind them. On Capitol Hill, Netanyahu told lawmakers he's ready to attack Iran rather than let Israelis live in the shadow of annihilation. But Obama says warnings that a decision must come in two months or less are not borne out by the facts. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.